It ain't no party like a PSB party. Cause a PSB party don't stop. Live from Detroit, Michigan at the Tech Shield Arena, the Portland Rampage. Take on the Detroit Jackal. I'm James Olsen alongside my broadcast partner, Rain Man, bringing you the Enfuego Hot Mics here tonight. Rain, how you doing and what are you looking forward to in tonight's matchups? What's up, my dude? I'm glad to be here tonight. King James had 13 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals, and 1 turnover. Marcus Carter only had 6 points, 9 rebounds, but showed flashes of greatness. I'm looking very forward to seeing these two players on the court tonight. As both teams are about to get set for the tip-off from Detroit, the PSB on GSSN about to get underway. And Andrew Banks will grab the tip off for Detroit to start this game. J.J. Williams now bringing the ball on up for the Jackals. Williams now being met with nice defense, but he's going to go up inside. Couldn't I get that? Trying to get the offensive glass, and he does. Almost lost it. King James for three. Gets it to rattle in. King James will lunch these bombs all night. Boom! Portland better watch out for him. King James starting this game off hot, baby. Live from Detroit, Michigan on the GSSN. PS3 bringing the action, and he is going to go out of bounds right there. Marcus Carter, what were you thinking? Marcus Carter is the other guy I want everybody to watch out for. But with Ricky mistakes like that, definitely hurt his team. Jack is now bringing the ball back up the court. J.J. Williams looking to make something splash here tonight. Banks now with the ball up top. Now gets it back over to Williams. Williams launching it for three. Just a little short. Larry Legend Jr. with the rebound for the Portland Rampage. Legend Jr. with the nice handles. Now kicks it back to Tulu. Back to Larry Legend. Larry Legend Jr. versus Andrew Banks. The big man going at it. Cuts inside. Gets blocked right there. Andrew Banks says, no, -uh, no way. And he's going to come down with that rebound. Andrew Banks just decamboed that shot. Not in my house. Larry Legend better think twice going inside like that. The combo trying to go up over Larry Legend Jr. Not going to happen. And, of course, Portland will come down with that rebound. Caleb Seven with the ball. And that gets it back over to Legend Jr. Legend Jr. trying to batten down the combo. Coming off the screen, Larry Legend Jr. for three. Gets that one to rattle in. Larry Legend, Birdman Jr. with the three. Splash. Portland trying to come back after that devastating loss they had against St. Louis. King James inside. Could not get that one to go. Had the wide open shot at the beginning, but the stingy defense came out of nowhere. Up inside, gets that two to go. Caleb seven. He's gonna get that one to go for two. King James now. Very, very nice handles, lobs it up. Oh my goodness. Tyler Frederick throwing that one down. Up, up, and away he go. Fredrickson with the slam. Seven now, tries to go back inside, goes to the left. Now he's gonna stop it. Tries to go to the right side now. Now hands it off. John Mullick pump fakes. Kicks it back out to seven. Shot clock going to be a factor right here. Comes off the screen. Stops. Pops. Gets that one to go. James, you got to keep an eye on this guy. Caleb Seven is going to be something serious in this league. Caleb Seven starting off hot. Two of three in this game. Launch three attempt right there. Splish splash. It was taking a bath. And that's going to rattle on in. You talking about splish splash. Those nets were set on fire. It's still smoking. Seven now. Gets it to Larry Legend Jr. He's going to get met by Andrew Banks, the shot blocker for this Detroit Jackal. Williams now. Gets it on over to Frederick. Frederick setting up here. Gives it over to King James up top. Looks to come off the screen. King James. He's going to get it up. Could not get that one to go for the Jackals. Jackals now bringing it back on up the court. Seven now gets over to Mullick. Seven now lobs it up. Not going to get anything going on that one. Here comes the Jackals from defense to offense. King James floats it up. Too strong. Will not fall down. Stop, pop. Comes up short for Portland right there. These guys just running up and down the court, throwing the ball up. Stop it. Set up and run some plays. J.J. Williams looks to go inside. Right hand. Could not get that one to go. 
and KJ Williams will go to the line. James Flew hit with the foul right there. Rain, I usually ask you questions about the league and everything else like that. But right now, we got to talk about GSSN, the Global Simulation Sports Network. They have done an amazing job bringing back some of the hot mics, not just you and me, but of course our man Jordan, as well as our other commentary crew who will be assigned with projects later. But I got to ask you, man, as that free throw attempt goes on down, how are you feeling about GSSN, man? Give us your take on this amazing company. GSSN is a great sports network. They don't just sponsor us. They sponsor wrestling, baseball, hockey, even the football league. For them to pick us, I think they're one of the best sports networks around. So William shot is up, and it is good, and it will be a 10-7 lead for the Jackals. Five minutes and counting here left in the first quarter. Larry Legend Jr., with the ball, tries to get inside. Caleb Seven getting blocked. The Detroit defense is not one to mess with. Mullock now with the ball, gets it on over to Tulu. Back on down to Carter. Carter trying to shimmies. Gets it up. Oh, what a shot right there. James, now that's the time you should have said split splash because Marcus Carter left those nets. Win. J.J. Williams tries to go up over. Oh, my goodness, Larry Legend Jr. with the block. He's quickly going to get that block. That rebound from the block, I should say. But he cannot get the two points on the fast break. Andrew Banks definitely putting a stop to that fast break. Steal right there. Here comes Portland. Back on the offense. Tulu gets hit right there. Andrew Banks with the shooting foul. And Tulu is going to go to the line. Tulu is definitely one of those guys in the league right now, Rain that we have definitely kept an eye on since the exhibition games. Give us your hot take on this young and upcoming player. James Tulu had 11 points, two assists, and one turnover against the rain. He will be one of the key players to Portland winning tonight. So don't let him get hot. We'll be calling his name all night. Shot is up and it is good. It's a 12 to 10 Portland lead with just over four left in this first quarter. Jalen hood 14 points his last outing. And here we go. These guys are definitely gonna be heating it up. The bench is in for the Detroit Jackal. Substitutions that were also made for the Portland Rampage as well. Casado now with the ball. Looks to come off the screen to the right side, goes inside. He wants to cut back to left. Oh, he's going to get met with the Detroit block party. Somebody tell BMF to get out the arena. They making the block hot here in Detroit. That is the one thing you have to watch out for these Detroit Jackal. They will go after every shot. They will just swat everything away. Goes inside, gets hit right there. Comes up short. Corey Washington will get the personal foul for Portland. So as we see on the court right now, the bench player is always something to watch out for for any team. And of course, they are not one to mess with. Rain, I mean, how sufficient do you have to have a bench to lead yourself to a victory? A bench is very important to me. They have to come in and match the same intensity, the same energy as the starters. Just because you're on the bench don't mean you can't make a name for yourself. So the first free throw attempt did not go down. And here comes the second attempt for the Detroit Jackals. Huchafino's up. Rattles around yet again. Man, oh man, can somebody get the lid off for the kid? Wide open three point attempt right there. in Portland makes him pay. Jackals have got to get back on defense. There's no way he should have been that wide open. Dumont with the ball right now. Now gets on down to Huchafino. Huchafino trying to do some low post moves. Wants to kick it back outside. Here comes Detroit. Nice little layup right there. And we are at a tied game. 242 left here in the first quarter. 15 all between Portland and Detroit. Nice ball movement by the Rampage. 
Corey Washington with the ball. Now gets it on back. Looks to drive. There will be a foul right there by Jalen Hood Shafino. Let's go back a few plays to this amazing block by Larry Legend Jr. Rank, give us your take on the block party. I said it before, and I'm going to say it again. The block is hot. The block is hot. Block parties are definitely a thing in this league, and Detroit is definitely hosting them, even if it is coming from the hands of Portland. Goes inside, and there's a block right there. Man, oh, man, I'm telling you right now, the block party is hot in the 3-1-3. Both of these teams are keeping the block party jumping. Dumont with the ball. Shot clock is about to be a factor. Gets it on down. Dillingham pumps. He's going to shoot. Could not get that one to rattle down. And here comes Portland. Back on the offensive end. Google now gets it over into the corner. Sanders now looking to make something happen here. Kicks it back over to Kugel. Kugel up over. Gonna get hit right there by Jalen Hood Shafino. And that'll be the third team foul for this Detroit Jackal. Portland came off a horrible, horrible loss against St. Louis. So we both called that game. Can you give us your take? From that Portland game. Excuse me the way I'm going to say this. But hell yeah, I can tell you. The offense was stagnant. The defense played terrible. The coach need to reevaluate his playbook. And last but not least, this team need to create an identity for themselves. Definitely from that game, I saw St. Louis finding openings. They found every hole they could. They were driving. They were making the extra pass. You name it. And that is why St. Louis came away with a big win over the Rampage not that long ago. Missed free throw attempt right there. We are still at a tie game. Oh, he throws it down. Man, oh, man. Jonathan Noel rising up for that slam. Where is the defense? Where is the defense? Assist from number 23. Portland answers back with the layup. And here comes the Jackal back on the offensive end still a tie game at this point 17 all just over a minute left here in the first quarter dillingham looks to back down his man kicks it on back launch three attempt right there too hard hits the back of the rim and here come the rampage back on the offense sanders now with the ball now hands it off to Google. Google wants to drive inside kicks it on back to washington washington now gets it over to Kugel. Shot clock about to be a factor. Comes off the screen. Kugel. Looks to go inside. He's going to shoot it. Could not get that one to go. The Detroit Jackal getting that one. 12 points in the last outing for one of the young up-and-comers for this Detroit Jackal. Definitely something to watch out for again with this bench. Dillingham now with the ball. And him now kicks on back. Hood Shafino launching it for three. Not going to happen. Shot clock and game clock. Well, the, the shot clock is turned off. The game clock down to 10 seconds and counting. Portland will hold on for the last shot. They look to drive inside. Oh, they get that one to go. Man, oh, man. With five seconds left, Detroit trying to make a quick run up the court. Launching it from almost half court. Comes up short. And at the end of the first quarter, Rain... 1917 Portland on top here in the Motor City. Don't go anywhere more. PSB action coming your way. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the GSSN as we bring you PSB action as the Portland Rampage take on the Detroit Jackal. Portland will start off with the ball here in the second quarter. Miss shot right there for Portland. Going inside, Andrew Banks up behind the back, man. He had the handles, but could not make that one count. Larry Legend Jr., two-hand jam with the emphatic, oh my God, stuff. Larry Legend Jr. is playing more aggressive this game, and that's what being a legend is all about. Larry Legend Jr. making it work. This game has been very close. Andrew Banks inside, up, over, gets that hook shot to go. Answering back with a nice two-pointer of his own. Field goals on the floor right now. Rampage 
45%, while the Jackals are at 37%. It is still an evenly contested contest, as Nagambo will get the hack right there, sending Portland to the line. Marcus Carter will take the free throws. This game is still very close, Rain. How do you think the first quarter has shaped up the rest of this game? The first quarter was just a chess match, and it went slow and steady. I'm looking more forward to the second half, but these teams are going to speed it up and race to the finish line. We have seen both teams make very big statements, especially in the first quarter. And the second quarter, I feel, will definitely be the same. Marcus Carter hits the first free throw attempt right there and brings Portland up by three. The crowd definitely getting into it here in the Motor City. Motown definitely on their feet trying to distract Marcus Carter. And Carter will make that one go for a 23-19 lead for Portland. Here comes J.J. Williams, now one of the top stars for this Detroit Jackals team. Screen there by Banks. Williams goes inside. He's going to get blocked right there. And here comes Portland from defense to offense. Caleb Seven now gets it over to Tulu. Tulu now gets it on over to Larry Legend Jr. Back over to John Mullock, the point guard. James Tulu in his last game against St. Louis. 11 points and 2 assists. Wants to definitely bounce back after that one. And speaking of bouncing back, Larry Legend Jr. Definitely making a statement early on in this game. Larry Legend Jr. is going to be a stud in this league. Williams cuts back inside. Wants to get up and over. And there is a block right there by Legend Jr. And there is going to be a block right there by the Detroit Jackal. Launch three attempt, gets that one to fall right there. J.J. Williams tries to bring this game back very close. J.J. Williams just looked at the crowd and said, quiet down after hitting that three. Lobbed the attempt right there, stopped right there by Andrew Banks, and here comes the Jackals. Over in the corner now, launch three by Williams, and he gets it to go. Boom, boom, boom. He looked back at his bench on that one. Saying, I got this, guys. I'm going to tie this game back up. Nagambo with the blocking foul right there. And we will have a timeout by Detroit. 25 all. 631 left here in the second quarter. Rain, as we set back up with 631 left here in the second quarter. Both teams tied up at 25. This is going to be a barn burner all the way to the end. I can feel it, can't you, brother? I feel we're going to have a battle the whole game. Blue shot clock cheese. He's going to get blocked right there. I told you the block party is out here in the 3-1-3. And the two-hand jam is coming on out. Nagambo throwing it down with authority. Nagambo was a fourth-round pick, and he's playing like he was a true first-rounder. What a steal. John Mullet now swings on over to Carter. Nice ball moment now down to Larry Legend Jr. He's looking for posting and toasting on Andrew Banks. But Banks is going to stop him right there. Inside. And that will be a foul right there on J.J. Williams. The fans here in Detroit not happy about that one. So Carter's going to go to the line. And his first attempt is going to drop. Both teams evenly matched up in this game. I feel right now, Rain, that this is going to come down to the wire, even though this is very, very early on. I can definitely see that happening. If Portland can keep dictating the pace of the game, this one will go down to the wire. So Carter's free throw attempt is up, and he's going to miss that one right there. Could not seal it back to a tied game. Rebounds at this point. Rampage with 15. Jackals with 13 inside. Banks lays it up. Could not get that one to go. And another rebound here by the Portland Rampage. Floats it up, could not get that one to go. Andrew Banks, man, oh man, he must be sponsored by Windex because he's cleaning up the glass here tonight, Rain. 
James, that was a good one. Thanks, he was cleaning the glass. Now he's trying to clean up the house. JJ Williams, 11 points, three of eight right now. He has got to make something happen. His last few shots. Oh my God! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Murlock came to the paint and said, put some respect on my name. John Mullick just got me to stop talking. That right there, PSB highlight. Definitely for sure. Frederick now wants to go inside. Pump fakes it. Now he's going to kick it on back to King James. Over to Williams. Williams wants to drive. Williams is going to turn back the other way. Gets it inside to Banks. Banks now gets that layup to go. Banks is the ATM of the lead. He stayed deposit money to the bank. It is still a very, very tight matchup early on. And oh my goodness. Williams will get the shooting foul. But did you see out of nowhere that block? Swatting that thing out to the fifth row. If there was a SWAT team, then Banks would be on it. So Caleb Seven, AKA 747. Reason is, is that he can be deadly on everything. He can fly up and slam it on down, just like a jet plane. Or with a 47, he can just shoot anywhere on the court. He's got a lot of meanings to his name and his number range. Yeah, but there's a difference between a shooter and a sniper. A shooter would just shoot and hit his target from time to time, but a sniper, waits for the right shot like Caleb Seven does. So Seven now looking to tie this up and he does. We're back to 29 all. 424 left here in the first half. Substitution for both teams on the court. Put Shafino missing that one but Banks cleaning up the glass but he's going to get blocked right there by two Portland. Rampage players right there. I couldn't even decipher who got the block. I think it was Larry Legend. I do not know. The missed shot right there by the Rampage. And here comes the Jackals back down the court. Put Shafino now. Wants to get inside, and he does. Noel getting it up. Could not get that one to fall. Legend Jr. getting that rebound. Portland Rampage in their last game against St. Louis. The stats on the screen do not lie. They are trying to bounce back here against Detroit. Banks now with the rebound. Here comes the Detroit Jackals back on offense. Tyler Frederick now with the ball on the left side. Wants to get on down to King James. James, he's going to get blocked right there by Mullet. The point guard's doing work. Now here comes Andrew Banks. Now kicks on back to Frederick. King James now swinging the ball. Noel launching it for three. Could not get that one to go. And there will be a loose foul foul on Larry Legend Jr. Larry Legend Jr. and Banks are going pound for pound and blow for blow down there. Every now and then, there's a cheap shot taken. Substitution on the court for both teams right now. The rest of the starters getting a break to finish out this first half. 3.07 left in this game. Going inside, up off the glass. Could not get that one to go. Casado will get hit with his first foul right there. Detroit going back to the line. Noel will be taking the two shots. These bench guys have definitely been putting in the work for both teams. Not only both these teams, but the rest of the league right now. And I got to say... It's always great to have the depth. You have to have your team, your starters definitely, take their breaks. They've been putting in a lot of work. They're putting in a lot of minutes. But it's definitely nice to have a solid bench. That's what separates a good team from a great team. If you have a bench that you can depend on, that's what you call a coach's wildest dream. Jordan Dumont checking now in, and it's Jordan with two ends. That's kind of crazy to think about. He's got two ends. And now Detroit Jackal, after those free throw attempts, up by two. Less than three minutes left. Sanders now with the ball on the right side. Looking to set something up here. Now gets it down over to Washington. Washington looking to back down his man. Posting and toasting. He's going to launch it. Gets that one to go. 
Man, oh man, what a shot right there, Ray. Yeah, Washington with his back to the basket with the fade. The only thing he need to give his opponent was a hairline. Jackals now trying to get back inside. Luke Shafino looking to back his man down. Launch shot right there by Noel. Hits the back of the rim. Rampage with the rebound and quickly bringing the ball back up the court. Google now trying to put the shake and bake on his defender. Kicks it on over to Sanders back up top. Sanders with a spin move. Got to get something to happen. Goes inside. Gets his own offensive glass. Not going to happen this time. Noel with the rebound for the Jackal. Launch three attempt right there. Hits the back of the rim. And he gets his own rebound right there. Man, oh man, staying with the offensive rebounds there, Rain. Second chance shots is a way to win ball games. But at the same time, you got to make shots. Puchafino could not get that one to go. And now here comes, oh, a hit right there and a four point play. Robert Dillingham knew he hit him. And Sanders will go to the line. Jaquan Sanders, a young and talented player for this Portland Rampage team. We saw his last game against the rain and coming off the bench, he definitely put in some work, didn't he, Rain? He did have a good game against the rain. Going 9 for 12, 24 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists, and only with 1 turnover. And also coming off the bench. Missed free throw attempt right there. It is a 34-31 game. Less than 2 minutes. 90 seconds to be exact. Here in this second quarter. Dumont now tries to get it on into Dillingham. Shot clock cheese about to come into effect. Stearns. Turns, I said Stearns. Wow, Botchamania. <laughs> We're a live mic, guys. Miss layup right there. The players were under that and one opportunity. Dillingham, he's going to go inside. Could not get that one to go. And here comes the rampage. Driving inside. Stops, pops, launches it up. Could not get that one to go. Shot clock and game clock about 15 seconds apart. Dillingham had the nice spin, but he loses it. And here comes the rampage. Tries to lay it up, and he gets Sanders. that one to go. Jaquan Sanders gets that one to go to extend it to five. Jaquan Sanders is a beast of a player. He's the energy right now for Portland. Dumont wants to go inside. Misses that shot right there. Four second difference left here on the shot clock and game clock. Launch shot, could not get that one to go. Amari Billups will get the rebound. Shot clock is turned off. Game clock at 15 seconds and counting. Detroit wants to set something up for a last second shot, trying to close this gap as much as they possibly can. Noel goes inside. Oh, he's getting blocked from behind. Both teams are playing great defense. Three seconds left on the clock to finish out this first half. Goes inside, launches the three. Could not get that one to go. Sanders will get hit with the foul. That is the third team foul for Portland. And the Rampage are now sending the Jackals back to the line on a three-point play. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. And Sanders should feel like a nut right now because he had no business sending that guy to the line. First attempt is good. And that closes it within four. Detroit wants to close this a little bit closer coming into the halftime report. Second attempt is up, and it is good. And now the Jackals down by three. Fist bumps and high fives all the way around. Shot is up, and it's going to be a two for three. For Dillingham, and at the end of the first half, Portland up 
and welcome back to more Premier Simulation Basketball as the Portland Rampage have a 36-33 lead going into the second half here against the Detroit Jackals. Seven now looks to drive inside. Andrew Banks with the block party. Portland keeping it alive. Tolu drives inside, kicks on out. Marcus Carter, bang! Great pass, great shot, great shooter. Marcus Carter, you cannot leave open. Wide open three right there for Carter. And now here comes King James and the Jackals. Nagambo turn around two, gets that one to go. Nyambo nickname should have been the barber because he faded people up all day. Damon Nagambo making that two pointer right there. And now here comes the rampage. Seven now looks to drive, kicks it on out. Tolu for a three. Bang! Skip to the Tolu, my friend. Trayvon! Portland is not playing around here in the second half. Looks to go inside now. Block party by the Rampage. Portland now putting on some very deep pressure. Goes inside. Tolu getting hit right there. Andrew Banks very animated saying, whoa, 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 whoa. There was no foul there, however. James Tolu will now be going to the line for two. That was a good play. James Tolu attacked the basket, stayed aggressive. That's one way to win ball games. Portland is coming Shoot out two. hot here in this second half. James Tolu going to the line for two free throws. First attempt right there is good. And this comfortable lead is just getting more and more comfortable, to say the least there, Ray. This is what Portland need right now. They got the lead. Now they need to put their foot on the gas and keep on going. Salute shot is up. And he's going to miss that one. Banks cleaning up the glass yet again. Here for Detroit. Whoa, had to open three. Bang! I will see that wide open. Tyler Frederick can kill him all day from the three-point line. He's a great shooter. Tyler Frederick over in that corner, making it splash for three. Larry Legend Jr. now looking to go up against Banks. Kicks it on out. John Mullock. He's been very quiet here tonight. Maybe he can kick it up here in the second half. Looks to drive inside. Block party. Block party again. Here comes Detroit. Defense to offense. Andrew Banks said, a party ain't a party until we jump in it. Let's take off that suit and tie and jump in this game. Williams now going to get the screen from Banks. Williams inside. Andrew Banks gets hit and one opportunity right there. Caleb Seven definitely not liking that one. We will check out the replay. Getting hit right there. Banks going to the line. Banks is money when he get in the paint. That's why his team named ATM because he stayed making deposits. Andrew Banks, one of the top college prospects coming out of LSU. Big man, 6'11", has the opportunity to get this one to go for the three-point play, and it does. We have a quick timeout coming your way. 43-41, Portland on top. Just under seven minutes left here in the third quarter. Do not go anywhere. More PSB action coming your way. James Olson and Rain Man bringing you the hot mic here tonight for PSB action live here on the Global Simulation Sports Network. Portland Rampage up 43-41, 6.53 left here in the third quarter. Portland now looking to inbound. Caleb Seven will do the inbounding to John Mullet. Mullet now gets it on over to Tulu. Tulu back up top, We're gonna take that screen from Marcus Carter. Now cuts back to the left, now gets it over to Carter. Carter, spin move, pump fakes. Got to make something happen here. He tries to get inside to Larry Legend. He's going to meet up with two defenders, but Marcus Carter for three. Mama, there goes that man. Marcus Carter serving him another three-pointer to go. The three-point tray bomb over in the corner. Now King James looking to answer for two. Gets that one to go. You can't give him that shot. 
they hit that 10 out of 10 times. Easy. Field goals to this point, 41% for the Rampage, 35 for the Jackals. It is still a very close game. Carter now launching it for two. Gets that one to go, and it will be a loose foul foul. All right, all right. Did not think that was going to happen, especially this block right here by Larry Legend Jr. Rain, give us your opinion on that block right there. Larry Legend told me he wanted to ramp up his defense, and he's been ramping it up this game. He only had one block last game. We have like four or five this one so far. So Jackals inbound. And it is a five point game. Watch two attempt right there. It gets that one to go right there. And that was for Frederick for two. Biggest lead right now was Portland with eight. Detroit still trying to keep their hopes alive in this game. Cuts inside. Block party again. It's going to be tipped. And wow, okay. That is going to go out of bounds on Marcus Carter as he was trying to save it, but. They're going to call it out of bounds. I think his foot was actually over the line there. And here comes Detroit back on offense. Three-point game. Goes inside. Nambo missing that one. Portland with the quick rebound and now trying to bring it on up. Carter now gets hit right there by Andrew Banks. And Marcus Carter will go back to the line for the Portland Rampage. Rain. This game has just had a lot of intensity, a lot of blocks, a lot of great moments. I know we are definitely looking into the final stretch of this game. What are you expecting both teams to pull out here in the last few minutes of this game? I don't see it changing too much right now. Both teams playing defense, both teams playing offense. They're getting up and down the court. This may go down to who has the last shot. Couldn't agree more. My opinion right now, this is going to go down to the wire, man. This is literally going to be a dogfight to the very end. Who knows? I'm even thinking there might be overtime. Lob inside. Oh, my goodness. Just off track right there. King James wanted to get that alley-oop jam, and it did not work. Turnover by the Jackals, and here comes Torland back up the court. Goes inside. He's missing that one right there. The defense just lurking around the corner. J.J. Williams now with the ball. Now gets that on over to James. Frederick now definitely putting in the work here for the Jackals. Now gets it to Banks up top. Banks now gets it over to Nagambo. Shot clock definitely going to be a factor. Nagambo, spin move. Wants to go inside. Launches it from the free throw line. Gets that one to go and brings it back with him three. Dame is a player that doesn't get a lot of recognition, but he's going to get some recognition tonight. Portland back on the offense. Tip right there, and that will go out of bounds. Still will be Portland Rampage ball. Substitution on the court right now. Marcus Carter getting a nice breather. Karen now coming on in for the Rampage. Karen has been one of those guys for this Rampage to put a little spark when they need to get something going. Well, now goes inside. Goes up, oh my God! Murlock with the Statue of Liberty dunk. Up, up and away the point guard for the Portland Rampage soaring up over the defense and throws it down with authority. King James now goes inside. Pump fakes. Gets his man up off his feet. James now still keeping the ball alive here. Andrew Banks. Now he'll kick it on over to Frederick. Frederick now looking to take the screen to the left side. Frederick. Oh, he just missed the jam right there. Wanted to answer back with a dunk of his own reign. You know my favorite line. He can't get no cake. Salute now. Trying to shake and bake King James. Larry Legend now with the ball on the left side. Now kicks it on back to Mullet. Shot clock going to be a factor. Ball movement has to be key. Block party again here by the Jackals. This has been one hell of a game. And one hell of a block party, I must say. Substitution for both teams right now. Starter is definitely getting a break right there. The block party still becoming a big factor. 
JJ Williams will stay in. Detroit and a quick timeout by the Detroit Jackal. 52 47, 336 left here in the third quarter. Do not go anywhere. More action coming your way. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, from that quick timeout. Substitution for both teams. 52-47. Portland still hanging on. 336 left here in the third quarter. Detroit is going to inbound coming out of this timeout. Detroit looking to set something up here. Inbound now comes on in. Nice ball movement right here. Trying to get something going there. Noel gets it over to Hood. Shafino. Shafino hitting that one right there. Bay Bay. This is why bench is so important. Josephino's keeping the spark going. The three-point bomb right there goes on in. Kugel now gets it on inside. There's a nice two right there by Sanders to put it back up by four. But Chafino now bringing the ball on up. Gets it on over to Dillingham. But Chafino now gets the ball, gets it off the screen. Wants to go inside, cuts back to the right. Up floater, tries to kiss it off the glass too hard right there. And here comes Portland. Jalen Huchifino, one of six here tonight. Man, oh man, Portland quick with that three-point bomb and puts him up by seven. Quick inside, but it's stolen away. Portland bringing out the ball back up the court. Wide open three, makes them pay again. He's the type of guy I just want to build my team around. He's always, always hitting his shots. Portland extends this lead. That's the biggest lead so far, up by 10. Foul right there by Kugel. You can see on the screen, ladies and gentlemen, four steals leading to 18 points. Man, oh man, Rain, what, what, what do the Detroit Jackal have to do to keep their hopes alive here in this game? James, Detroit are down five possessions. If they defend the perimeter, make Portland take tough shots, Detroit needs to attack the basket, and stay getting shooters open. It isn't going to be easy getting back in the game, leaving shooters like that wide open. Detroit, in my book, just needs to stop leaving the wide open man. Carter has made them pay. Obviously, we just saw Washington make them pay. This is a team that has literally gone block party, but they need to make it from the inside and bring it on out. They literally have to get a man up on that wide open shot right there. Free throw attempt is missed. Rebounds at this point. Rampage 33-27. A block party yet again by Detroit. Dillingham launching it for three. Hits the back of the rim. And here comes Portland. There was a substitution back on the court. As we see Larry Legend in wide open three attempt right there. Gets it to fall. Boom. 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 The fans keep quieting down every time a three-point bomb is being made here by Portland. Stolen away, Sanders gets that. Here comes Portland back on the offense. Larry Legend Jr. with the ball up top. Kugel now with the ball. Wants to get something here. Wants to get that screen to the left. Now he's gonna drive inside. Gets hit. Dillingham will be charged with that shooting foul. And here comes the rampage back to the line. Kugel, definitely one of those guys coming off the bench, providing a lot of spark for this Portland rampage team. We did see them against St. Louis. Obviously, St. Louis got the dub in that game. But we got to see these bench players do a lot of work, Rain. That's what we've been preaching about bench production. A bench can make you or break you. And Portland's bench has been on tonight. The lead is extended to 13. Could possibly be 14. 
and it is a 65-51 Portland lead right now with just over a minute left here in the third. Detroit definitely needs to get something going on the offense. King James up over too strong right there. And John Mullick bringing down the rebound. Larry Legend Jr. up over. Could not get that one to go. Detroit now bringing the ball on up. Less than a minute left here in the third. Frederick trying to find somebody open and he's going to get down. James wants to do some low post moves apparently. Launch three attempt right there. Kicking it back out. Gets that one to fall. Is there a doctor in the house? He just got his light shot out. Hood Shafino hitting the tray bomb right there. Trying to keep Detroit in this game. Legend Jr. with the ball up top. Over in the corner to Mullick. Mullick now wants to get the screen. Tries to go inside. Cuts on back. Now he's going to go back on the drive. Gets blocked right there. It's going to be a shot clock factor. Defense definitely putting on the work. Almost went out of bounds on that one. Detroit making him pay. Launch three attack. Gets it to fall before the buzzer. Boom. 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 Nagambo hitting the three-point bomb right there to keep Detroit in this game. But is right now a 65-57 Portland lead going into the fourth. Do not go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. We still got one more quarter to go. Put up the fours, ladies and gentlemen, because it's the fourth quarter. Detroit, Portland. Who is going to come out on top? Portland with a nice, comfortable lead. Mullet to Lou. Larry Legend Jr., Caleb Seven, and Carter on the court for the Portland Rampage. Quick defense right there by Portland to stop that one. Missed shot, though. Not going to happen for Mullet. John Mullet at this point, definitely in a shooting woes. Only has four points. Two of eight here tonight. Quick inside. James gets the assist right there. And Tyler Frederick with yet another basket here for the Jackals. Tulu now wants to get inside to Carter. Carter, step back, kicks it on back to Tulu. Had to get out of that shot. Tulu now looking to drive. Too strong right there. Gets put on his backside. And here comes the Detroit Jackal. Quickly bringing the ball up the court right now. Nagambo now kicks it on back to Frederick. Frederick versus Tulu. Definitely a nice matchup at the two. King James wants to go inside. Oh, my sweet, gentle, great goodness. Balls of fire, rain. What did we just see right there? What a dunk by the king. You can expect that from him game in, game out. He dunked over two guys and asked them, did you jump yet? King James throwing it down for these home fans. And now the spark of what could be a good opportunity for this Portland team, excuse me, the Detroit team, to stay alive. Portland missing that shot right there. Banks now bringing the ball on up. J.J. Williams now cuts inside. Hop steps. Could not get that one to fall down. Tried to steal it away. Loose ball. Here comes Andrew Banks, and that right there will be a blocking foul by Caleb Seven, getting completely steamrolled by a big man. You know his big man, Andrew Banks. Andrew Banks got plenty of nicknames. They call him B, Big Man Banks, ATM, and what the ladies like to call him, Big Sexy. Detroit looking to inbound right here. Banks now kicks it on back. Didn't Nagambo that screen, but Nagambo just kicks it on out. JJ Williams with the ball on the right side, ISO. Wants to get something inside. King James floats it up, too strong right there. Portland with the rebound. Seven with the ball. Gets on over to Carter. Carter up top by the free throw line. Looks to drive to his left. Now cuts back to his right. Up over block party. Tulu with the ball. Shot clock. Cheese. Gets that one to rattle in. Man on oh man, Rain. What a shot right there. James, he told him to smile for the camera. Cheese. Swish. 
Detroit now trying to get something back in their favor. King James with the ball. Now kicks it on back. Frederick with the ball. Now swings it on over to Williams. Williams spin move. Shot clock going to be a factor. Floats it up with the right hand. Gets that one to rattle on in. And it's back to a five-point Portland lead. 18 minutes here for J.J. Williams. And he's got 13 points. 36 from the floor. Time out by the rampage. 554 left here in the fourth quarter. PSB fans, stay tuned. We got a nice game coming your way. Coming back from the timeout, James Olsen and Rain Man bringing you this PSB action here on the Global Simulation Sports Network. Portland 68, Detroit 63, 554 left here in the fourth quarter. Portland now getting the inbound. Kalu now kicks it on back over to seven. Now it's over to Mullick. Now he's gonna kick it on back to seven. Seven getting hit for that three-point opportunity. JJ Williams, costly, costly mistake right there. Sending Caleb Seven to the line. There's something about CS47 I like. But tonight he's been really inconsistent. He's gotta find some way to get into some type of rhythm. So as Caleb Seven goes to the line for three free throws, the first one right here, up and it will go in, extending this lead. They need to close the gap here tonight. And of course, that gap is of course a six point lead. For Portland looking to extend it do not want to have Detroit come back in this game at all second attempt is up and it will go and it's back to a seven point game for the Portland Rampage 547 left here in the fourth quarter third attempt by Caleb seven Shot is up, and it is good, and extends the lead back up for the Rampage. King James now bring the ball up for the Jackal. Kicks it on over, wide open, three, bang! That's one way to keep the game close. Just leave Tyler Ferguson open. He's been hitting that shot all game long anyway. Tyler Frederick answering back, and he's going to get that three points back for the Detroit Jackal. And this shot right there, quickly bringing the ball on up. Uh-oh, he's skying up. Could not get that one to go. Andrew Banks wanted to clean up the glass on that one. But, of course, the Portland Rampage come on down with that rebound. Now, Larry Legend Jr. now kicks it on back over to Carter. Carter, hand in his face, rattles in, still gets the shot to go. Winds up high-fiving some of the Detroit Jackal players, man. Marcus Carter is the guy I told you I need to watch out for. He's dangerous, and this guy's going to be a star in this league. I don't know if that was a little too cocky. Williams now launching it for three. Could not get that one to go. Larry Legend Jr. comes down with that rebound. J.J. Williams, 13 points here tonight. Shooting woes have been a factor, but he still has made some points come into this game. Screen right there. Here comes Portland. Caleb, seven, getting blocked. Andrew Banks comes on down with that rebound. He is just swiping shots away left and right, saying, uh-uh. King James now with that ball. Looks to come off the screen. Goes up, throws it down. Stop it, stop it, stop it. King James, King James, King James. Up, up, and away, the elevator man, King James, throws it down on his home court. Here comes the Jackal now. J.J. Williams, oh my goodness, he broke his man, gets that two to fall on down, and it's back to a three-point game. James, you smell that? Someone got the grill out. I smell barbecue chicken. Stolen away right there. Here comes the Jackals. Puck over in the corner right now. Now it's back to King James. Frederick now with the ball. Hands it on back. Frederick 
had the wide open opportunity. Could have taken it. Looks to go up inside. Could not get that one to go. Ill-advised shot, do you think, right there, Rain? Yeah, it was a terrible shot selection. He's killing himself right now for not taking that three. And a shot opportunity for the Rampage. Now here comes King James and the Jackal. They got to make something happen here. They have less than three minutes to go in this game. Screen. Steps back. J.J. Williams gets hit right there. And one opportunity. That foul will be charged to Larry Legend Jr. And here comes J.J. Williams. Back to the line. Looking to tie this game back up for Detroit. This starting five for the Detroit Jackal have definitely shown they can make the offense work as well as the defense here tonight, Rain. Detroit has a deadly team. They're going to be well respected around the league. They have the right pieces in the right places and only looking to get better. And Williams will get that one to fall and it's back to a tied game. 73 all, just under three minutes and a timeout by the Rampage. They need to talk things over. We're gonna take a quick timeout as well. Get a little water, get a little refreshments. We'll be right back with more PSB action. Don't go anywhere. Coming back from the timeout, the fans here in Detroit wearing all orange, which I feel is a little awkward, especially since the visiting team Portland Rampage is wearing orange. I haven't really said anything until tonight about this. So here we go with the inbound by the Rampage. Seven now looks to drive off that screen. Still getting met up by the defense. Up inside, floats it up, could not get to go. Nagambo with the rebound. Quickly inside, Banks now. Could have had an opportunity to throw it on down, but he did not take it there, Rain. Costly move, possibly in this game. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Frederick now wants to drive, goes up, gets hit right there. Could have made a poster of Larry Legend Jr. However, the foul will break that up. Actually, I think that's a good foul. That relation is not going to make it easy for him in the paint. Also, way to stay aggressive by Tyler getting to the line. So Tyler Frederick definitely putting a spark here tonight for the Jackal. 73 all. Just over two minutes left in this game. First free throw attempt right there. Gets it to fall. And now we have the Jackal back up top. 74-73. Frederick now getting ready to set up for the second attempt. Shot is up and it is good. And it's back to a Detroit two-point lead. As we are about to reach the two-minute warning here in this game. Mullet now up against King James. Has to kick it on back. Launch attempt right there by seven. Could not get that one to go. King James quickly gets the ball. The scoring drought right there as you see on your screen for the Portland Rampage. They have not made anything happen here. King James now wants the screen. Takes it. Launch attempt right there for three. Gets hit and one opportunity. King James going to the line. Larry Legend Jr. upset with that one. Man, oh man, Rain. What a swing coming into the Jackal's favor at this point. This is another PSB top 10 play. King James putting Larry Legend eyes out. They starting to get the nails out for the coffin. King James at the line. Looking to extend this lead. And it's going to be a six-point game here for the Jackals. 1.30 left here in the fourth quarter. Portland still has an opportunity. Marcus Carter now with the ball. Wants the ISO. Wants to go up against Nagambo. Cuts back. Pump fakes. Up. Over. Could not get that one to go. The scoring route still continues for Portland. Quick shot right there. Three-point bomb. 
big boned lady in the orange dress behind me, you can start saying it because this game is just about over. King James, 16 points, 11 alone here in the fourth quarter. Definitely bringing the crowd back into this game and the Jackals back into this game as well. Less than a minute now. Missed shot right there. Here comes the Jackals. Quick back and forth right there. Banks now kicks it on back to Frederick. Frederick up inside. Wanted the dunk right there. Rain could not get to go. Frederickson really wanted that one to close out the game. But he ain't getting no cheesecake like that. Still time on the clock if you play it right for Portland. Wants to go up inside. Gets hit right there. But it's not going to be a foul. 73 points. 82 points. Extending that lead. Oh, my goodness, right there. Could that have been the nail in the coffin? That's for sure. Nagambo throwing it down. And that will definitely secure the win here for the Detroit Jackal. Portland getting blocked right there. And Wayne, that's all she wrote, I do believe. J.J. Williams getting the batting block to seal this game and here comes Portland swapping out all their players they already know what's going on too little too late to start swapping players this game is already over Portland had the opportunity to close the door but they have completely choked here in this fourth quarter the scoring drought could not help them and Detroit will just dribble out the clock. 84-73 the comeback. And the Motor City will be happy here tonight. James Olsen bringing you the hot mic alongside Rain. Rain sign everybody off for GSSN and PSB, brother. Portland has to play four quarters of basketball. Go back and regroup and work on getting everything right. Jackals, great comeback win. They just didn't do it for themselves. They did it for the fans. PSB signing off. Again, the final score, 84-73. Detroit picks up the dub. For the Global Sports Simulation Network, I'm James Olson. Rain Man signing off. Good night, everybody.